Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How are you everyone? This is your teacher Ahlam Abu Zuda again. Uh, today inshallah we will continue to unit 12, the body beautiful. We have a listening uh, skill. So I hope that you're, first I hope that you're doing great these days uh, in this uh, wonderful and beautiful month that Allah grant us. I hope that you spent and invest each moment in Ramadan giving your dua and um, reading lots of her Quran, praying on time and praying al taraweeh try to pray with your family at home don't forget to keep your uh, keep your dua uh, during the whole day and the whole this uh, month this is a uh, ramadan is not like other months it's so special so please try to spend each moment in this uh, amazing month uh, today, inshallah, we will um, do exercise. Let's go to this page, page 152. Uh, we have to do exercise A, B, C. <clears throat> First, let's go to exercise A. Where on the body are each of these things found? Right L for leg, A for arm, or H for head. So, we want now... To decide where in the world body we can find these things. In the previously we have we planned that we all the parts of the body, right? So now let's try to remember again what we have learned before and decide in which bar where exactly in our body we can find these uh, parts. We have the three main parts, the leg, arm and head. So the first one, ankle. Where where can you find the ankle? Put your now put your but where you can find the, the ankle? Put your hand on your ankle. Yes, it's in the leg. Right. Calf. Where can you find the calf? Yes. Again, in the leg. Correct. Chin. Where can you find the chin? Yes, it's in the head. Okay. Ear. Where's your ears? Where's your ear? Yes, it's in the head too. Elbow. Where can you find the elbow? Yes, it's in the arm, in the middle of the arm. Knee, where can you find the knee? Yes, it's in the leg, also in the middle of the leg. Mm, shoulder, where can you, where is you, where is your shoulder? Yes, it's in the arm, at the top of the arm. Thumb, where is your thumb? Yes, it's in the arm too. Tongue, also it is in the head. Let's check our answers. Yes, all of them are correct. Now let's go to exercise B. Listen to four speakers and check the body part they are describing. Now, absent, absent the track on the WhatsApp groups. Please pause the video, listen to the track very well. You can listen more than once and choose the best answer. You have to listen and decide. We have four speakers in this track. Each one is describing one part of the body. So take your time and try to listen very well. Then come back to take your answers with the teacher. Okay, now girls, after we have listened to the track, to the recording, let's answer these um, uh, questions together. As we mentioned before, we have four speakers. Each one is describing one part of the body. Okay, the first one, which part is the speaker describing? Yes, correct, it is ankle. The second one, which part of the body is the speaker describing? Yes, it is the neck. Yes, right. Three, which part of the body is the speaker describing? Yes, correct, it is fingers. Okay, he's now talking about toes or hands. Okay, which is next to the uh, when you talk about all these the thing, uh, all these things, which is uh, next to the thumbs, so to the thumb. So he's talking about the fingers. The last speaker is describing the eyes. Yes, correct. So these are the correct answers. Try to practice listening more than once. To make sure that these are the correct answers. Now let's go to exercise C. Also absent another track. Okay, on the WhatsApp. Okay, 
so we have to read the instruction first, read the exam close-up and then complete the exam task. Remember to focus on each question and write notes while you listen. So here, first let's go to read the exam close-up. Keeping calm. Why keeping calm? It's important to try and keep calm in the exam. Getting nervous will make it more difficult for you to understand the listening. Sometimes there are some students, they get nervous because they don't know how to answer the questions in the listening task. I know it's not easy to answer the questions in the listening skill, but by practicing this, you can do it easily in the future. So keep calm. Just try to keep calm, don't get nervous, and that will to not make it so harder for you to understand the listening task. And try to focus on each question and underline the keywords in the questions before you listen. So before listening, go to the questions and try to read the question very well and underline the keywords, the most important word in each question to focus on it, okay? To focus on the keywords while listening to the track. Then, as you listen, look at the pictures carefully and take notes, write down any key information you hear. So, you have to look at the pictures, if you have pictures, very, very carefully, and take notes for each one, okay? And then, at the end, you will have time to read your notes and the questions again, so don't worry if you can't answer all the questions the first time you listen. Now, let's go to these questions. We have six questions, and each question has uh, four pictures, A, B, C. We want to choose the, the correct or the best picture. Uh, so, please, now I want you to pause the video. Pause the video, please, now, right now, and go back to the track, okay, of sent on the WhatsApp group. Listen carefully, read, now read each, each question very well, and try to underline the keyword. Then listen very carefully and go back here to check our answers together. Take your time. I'm going to give you a few minutes. Start. One, two, three. Okay, the first question here. What activity do the friends decide to do? Yes, the correct answer is B. They're going to go to the gym, okay? So they want to go to the gym at the sports center after class, right? So they want to do gymnastics. They want to go to the gym. Okay, now next. Question number two. When will the man leave hospital? Is it A, B, or C? Will he leave the hospital? in the 9th, the 9th of uh, March, or after a week, or tomorrow, after a day of his uh, being in the hospital? Yes, the answer is C. The answer is C. Okay, how does the girl think she hurt her shoulder? How does the girl think she hurt her shoulder? Yes, the answer is B. By sitting for too long time in front of the computer. Which picture shows the boy's uncle? Is he blind or deaf? Or he's walking on the wheels? Yes, C is the correct answer because he had an accident. Which part of her body did the woman hurt? Yes, it is C. She hurt her arm. And the last one, what does the man decide to buy? Does he decide to buy a t-shirt or a shirt or a short or a, a trouser? Yes, it is B. He decides to buy a short. Shorts. Okay, now let's check our answers. 
Yes, all of them are correct. Please, I advise you to practice this exercise more than once. It's very important uh, for the exam, for the final listening exam. Uh, try to practice it, practice this exercise more than once. Try to listen to the track more than once. And I hope you all the best. And uh, also we have another exercise in the workbook. Uh, let's go here to the workbook. Okay. Listening part. So we have to do this exercise as homework. Please try to do it. Try to listen to the track that I will send it to you very soon. Today, inshallah, I'm going to send you a track for this um, listening task. Uh, listen more than once. Before listening, you have to look for the questions, underline the keywords, look at the pictures very well. You can take notes. Then listen to each conversation and choose the best picture. And thank you so much for today. This is all what we have for today. Uh, thank you so much for your great listening and have a great time. Don't forget us from your dua. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.